Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade, and today we're talking about taxes. Okay, okay, I know it's not the most sexy topic, but I think it's so important if you are a YouTuber or an influencer, you gotta know the business side. Because if you were anything like me, I did not know anything about financials and legal shit that when it came to the time to actually start a company, school didn't teach me anything, so I didn't know where to go. 2018, I didn't know that taxes were a thing. I was 17 years old last year, right? Currently I'm 18. So I just didn't know that you had to be a certain age to pay taxes. So literally, when tax season came, which is two months ago, I didn't know what to do. And suddenly I owed the government, you know, $7,000. I'm like, where did this come from? So I don't want this to happen to you. I really, really don't. Which is why I'm making this Q&A video. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions you had about business setting it up. So we're about to dive right in. Do not get screwed over like me and let's get started. All right, so the first question is how do you set up a business? So I have a little bit of context for you guys. I have a company that consults brands on how to grow on social media. We do marketing consulting. And I used to get paid an hourly wage. So like, you know, I get paid per hour phone call, I would be with the company. And that was going on since, you know, 2017. And I was doing that all operated underneath my parents' PayPal account. All right, I was like 16, 17 years old, so I just didn't know how to do it officially. I don't know anything about legal things, so literally, you guys have to understand when you're starting a company, you know, if you don't feel bad, if you don't know anything, like I, I thought I was like super, super stupid, but apparently this happens to a lot of people. How to set up a business is super simple. Start with having a good customer and problem you solve. Like, if you don't have customers, you don't want to pay the fucking fee it takes to set up a business account so make sure you guys have a product slash service you're already selling so step two after you have a viable business which i'll get into is you want to apply for your company so you can get an llc you can get a sole proprietor you can be an s corp there's so many things you can choose from i'm an llc which stands for limited liability company heck no i can't describe to you what that fucking means but my cpa caitlin can so Caitlin will actually be throughout this video kind of giving you guys some tips and tricks because there's no way in the heck I'm legally versed. I'm a high school dropout. Like I will not know much about financials. But what I can tell you is it costed $200 to set up my business account. For the state of Washington, it costs $200. Yeah, so that's really all you need. You need to have a business, a product and a service. And then the second thing is $200 to spend for your license. And basically it takes two weeks and the government will mail you your certificate and I have it right here if you guys want to see it's pretty it's, I'm pretty proud of it. it feels really good other than the fact that I just like spent $200 on a piece of paper I hope this video doesn't make it seem like it's cool to have a fucking piece of paper like at the end of the day remember that you need to focus on your product and customers like that beats having a cool piece of paper by far all right so my next question is when should you form an LLC so if you guys want to start a company, how early you should start it is up to you how serious you are. When I was asking my CPA, Caitlin, she basically gave the advice as soon as possible. If you're someone who's starting to make money and you can afford an LLC, do it as soon as possible because your mindset will change. You're gonna go from doing this YouTube thing for fun to thinking this is actually a viable career and you're gonna take it more seriously, you're gonna make more money. And I know it's a weird thing to think a piece of paper will help you, but I think that's very, very true. When you become a company, when you start to think yourself as a business, you act like a business, you make decisions, not based on yourself, but how your future and how the vision you have will be. I agree with Caitlin. I think you guys should really think about it as soon as possible. It literally, if, if for anyone who's still confused what an LLC is, you guys can go on your state's page and sign up. It costs X amount of dollars for me, it's $200, and they will mail a piece of paper to you in two weeks. And that's all you need. I'll link the state of Washington if you guys are from Washington, but make sure you look up your own state. Okay guys, so the next question I got is, how do you write tax write-offs for a YouTuber? Okay, so I did not learn this until literally two months ago, but when you make money, you have to give a portion it to Uncle Sam. So in the US, we have to give a little bit of the pie to the fucking government and i didn't know that you can actually write some things off so say you make a hundred thousand dollars and you need to give the government ten thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars whatever that is each income has like a different bracket so if you're someone who makes a hundred thousand dollars you might have to give a little bit less percentage wise than someone who makes one million dollars because there's different tax brackets if that makes sense the more you make the more you give unfortunately that's how it works but it also means you make more money so you should be chilling so in the u.s say you make a hundred thousand dollars a year 
you have to pay ten thousand dollars you can actually write off that ten thousand dollars based on the business expense because you're contributing to the economy for example like say i buy it this camera it cost me a thousand dollars i can actually put that into my tax write-off so instead of paying ten thousand dollars i can pay nine thousand dollars to government so different things can actually almost make it super super affordable to pay your taxes so personally for me this is what happened and i'll be very transparent i was able to write off i believe four thousand seven hundred dollars worth of business expenses so it has to be for your business you can't just say you know i'm gonna eat food to eat food but the, here's the thing if you're a youtuber or an influencer you can write a lot of things off you, you can almost write everything off because you could say it's for a video also don't take my advice I'm not a legal expert <laughs> what I do know is when my accountant was explaining this to me she said that if an auditor or like the IRS comes to your door and you have to explain why this is a business expense and you can explain it then you're fine maybe you can pull up your video you can say this is for a YouTube video like I ate food in this video like I'm drinking Starbucks because I'm like editing this video meeting with someone right as a youtuber there's a lot of flexibility because you're a personal brand and yeah it's it's pretty damn great I would say so the next question I got is do you recommend opening a separate business account I would say so I'm not the best person to ask this because actually funny enough um I have only one personal account because I just turned 18 two months ago so if you guys actually found this video a little bit helpful and you want to see me make a whole video about like setting up a business account like at 18 years old start from scratch maybe you're like in high school or you want to know like more about the legal things i'll make a whole youtube video about it just make sure you like this video and let me know in the comments you would like to see that so yeah i haven't set up a business account before i've never had a credit card um if you guys want to see setting up like a credit card account start to finish let me know amanda asks me is it better to apply as a social security number tax id or an llc so there's no way in the heck I'm going to be able to explain this without fucking up. So I asked my CPA, Caitlin, to answer it for me. Let's go. Okay, so definitely an EIN number. Even if you're just operating as a sole proprietor, like under your own name, you're still able to get an EIN number. One simplification number is free. You're able to register for it on the IRS website. Like literally if you type in EIN number registration, um, you can go through and do it and it takes like maybe 10 minutes. And the reason I recommend that is because with identity theft and fraud being as prevalent as it is nowadays, it's one less area that you need to be putting your social security number out there. If I were to be working under my name and I were to contract with someone, um, I would actually give them a W-9, which basically says like, this is my information and this is my tax identification. I would give them my EIN number instead of my social security number once I'd registered for it, even as a sole proprietor. Once you become an LLC, you have to get an EIN yes. number. It, it's not optional at that point. But yeah, I definitely recommend, even if you're going to operate as a sole proprietor under your name with like nothing registered, go do the EIN number um, because it makes things so much cleaner. No, I did that. It took like 20 minutes tops. It's very simple and it's free. I, I think it's free actually. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you, Caitlin, for answering that. Caitlin is amazing. She's been doing my taxes for 2018 and 2019. I can't thank her enough because if she wasn't, I'd probably get fucked by the IRS. All right, guys. So I actually have some more questions about business. I had some stuff that I was opening um, from my PO box. So I'm going to answer that there. But for anyone who's wondering, this half of the video is mostly about the tax idea, but the rest of the questions are all about setting up a business and legal shit. So here it is right now. For the first time in literally a year, I checked my PO box and there's so much stuff. It's quite embarrassing how many things I didn't open. You guys sent me some messages and I guess some, some, some stuff that I have no idea what's inside. For all I know, it could be drugs. Whoa. Okay, so the first thing we got, I did not buy this. <laughs> I told you, I have no idea what I'm expecting. We got a baby safety mirror. That's glow in the dark. I don't have kids. <sighs> Thanks. When I have kids, which I don't even know why that's happening, I'll use this. Okay, so the next thing we got, I'm gonna open this package. I think this is an international package. I'm kind of nervous. Can't you like open shit that's not safe? Whatever, we're, we're past that. I got socks. <laughs> I got socks. Um, this is really interesting, guys. Oh, I got socks. This is so funny. I got a package from Kimchi Socks from South Korea. Thank you so much. These are the socks we got. So this is so funny. My friend has a sock company, um, so I feel a little bit like a betrayed bitch. But um, these are the socks. Thank you so much, Kimchi Socks. It's actually from Dallas, Texas. 
not from South Korea. Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, so let's go to another question. What is my business and how did you get the guts to start it? Here's the thing, you guys. I didn't want to start a business. Like, the last thing I want to do is start a business. Like, all this paperwork and shit isn't fun. I'll be honest. I only, first of all, got started because I wanted to help brands with their Instagram. Like, my thought wasn't creating a business. Because I think so often people just want to start a business to start a business, but you have to know why. All money and business is an exchange of services, whether it's value of, like, a monetary value for something you've done. It's all of it is a trade of value. So, like, realize that, like, I started wanting to build a business after I realized my value. Like, I had a value in consulting. The real reason I, I guess, got the guts is because I realized that what I had to say was important. And for so many of you who maybe are entrepreneurs or are wanting to start some sort of company, like if you're selling clothes, like I have a lot of friends from school that have their little like clothing shop online and that's already a business right there. And it doesn't need to be as big as people, like people just make it all sexy and shit. Like this is not fun. Like having this cool piece of paper, great, I'm a business. But like, you don't have to be, do that like at all. Um. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. <gasps> I got a package from Hoffman all the way from Florida and she's an she's a novel. Oh, she's an author. You guys sent me your books. Thank you. Oh, I love this so much. This is super cool. So shout out to CB Hoffman for sending me their book. I love checking your guys' workout because I fucking love talent. Like, do you understand how frustrated I am to see the same old blue ass water on Instagram with the same influencer presets? Like I love people who are creative. So thank you so much for sending me your book. I really appreciate it. This is all the way from United Kingdom. Holy crap. I do not know what I like. What is this? Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, this is actually from the company called True Pillow, I believe. They DM me on Instagram and they know I travel a lot. So they. Oh. Okay, I got another pair of socks. Heck yeah. Fuck you, Brandon. Just kidding. They. Oh. Okay, you guys, they also sent me. I don't even know what this is. So this is basically. Um, when you're on the plane and you see those pillows that people have, this is the more fashionable version of it. So it's one of these like foam kind of like neck wrap. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I feel like I'm going to choke. Oh my God. They gave me another one. They gave me like a wrap version of it. That's super fun and fresh. <laughs> we got more socks. Do you guys want to see the socks that I actually have for my friends? I literally have so many socks because... I have a friend who has a, a sock company as well, so these ones are cool too, but I have my face on a sock, so um, that's when I'm fresh. I'll add that to collection. All right, so the next question I got is, what do you do for a living? So this is a very good question. It changes all the time. My main, like the way to describe the line of work I do is I build tools and resources to help people share their voice online. The best way I can describe this is I'm a, I'm a therapist for brands because I'm more of a person that, you know, like consults people, you know, how to grow better. But in, real, in reality, I'm just consulting people how to feel better. So much of social media is mental. So like I prioritize mental health and making people feel better um, and smiling. So yeah, that's a little bit of my work I do. So right now, currently my X8 media company is like just the overall business, but I also have products that are like, that can go into that, if that makes sense. So I'm doing business for PBJ, which is my app, but I also do consulting. I also, you know, have multiple product lines, but my overall company is helping people feel better online and look good online, essentially. Holy shit, I think this is from Poland. Wow. This is from Mark, Marek, 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 Marek. Sorry for pronouncing the name wrong. No way. Oh, someone, okay, the first thing I see is Darmination in this bag. I don't even know what it is already, but I love it because you guys know that anyone who's a part of Darmination, which is any viewer who supports me, I got your back. I freaking love you guys. I talk to you guys all the time on Instagram. So I can't believe someone sent me something. What is this? No, no way. <laughs> oh my God. Someone sent me a roast queen Darmination. Like, a, you guys know I roast Instagrams. A lot and someone gave me an apron that says the rose queen of jay number one so thank you whoever made this thank you oh my god i love this so much who is this mark marik marek you're amazing oh my gosh i think i dm'd you before but like thank you so much this is so cool i'm literally gonna wear it throughout my entire video i think it's so fun you guys know i love to cook lately so i'm literally going to wear this on my video thank you so much that's so fun i got a question from sherry fit asking what books would you recommend to someone who's thinking to start a business there's a book called steal like an artist that's great for people who are creating um art 
And the second book I have that's more business related is Expert Secrets is Good for Anyone Who's a Marketer by Russell Brunson. And I also recommend The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck for anyone who is starting out to make videos. So I will link those books below. Read those three books and come back to me if you have any questions. They're amazing for people who want to be entrepreneurs and know what it's like. It's a lot about mindset again. This is all the way from New York. I got a freaking sticker. Hell yeah. That's so fun and fresh. <laughs> you guys send me the funnest shit ever. I'm scared that this is drugs. Okay, so there's a girl by Untamed Anatomy on Instagram. Go check her out. She sent me a beautiful letter. Aww. She wrote me a really sweet handwritten message I'm going to read right after this video. And she sent me a little bit of her art, I believe. This is gorgeous. You drew this? Guys, check out Untamed Anatomy on Instagram. At Untamed Anatomy. Or UntamedAnatomy.com editor put that below i love it thank you so much oh you guys sent me a starbucks gift card that's so sweet um hey jade i found your channel i watch gary v um but you're even better than gary v erin <laughs> thank you so much for sending me this you said you sent me starbucks which is crazy you don't even have to i really appreciate it thank you so much this person literally lives in my neighborhood that's so cool kind of creepy but kind of fun fresh oh okay so this is from soundcloud.com slash b y r double zero K1E, you make music and you sent me something from there. Oh, this is actually kind of sick. Okay, so we got some your merch. That's so fun and fresh. Thank you for sending this to me. Oh my goodness. I actually would totally wear this cropped with some jeans. If you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna have to check out your music because I think again, I I've said this ten times, but I freaking value people that you watch my videos with talent. Like, thank God there's still people out here. It gives me hope in society, honestly. Thank you so much to anyone who sent me stuff. I didn't expect so many things from you guys. Like, I I was joking when I put my P.O. box in the description box. Like, you guys are very fun and fresh. If you do want to send me any of your work, again, I'm going to just make this entire theme. Show me your talent. Send me things that I would like, um, whether you have a business or you have a product you want me to review and try out. I'd love to... Um, get more stuff from you guys and open letters and amazing things because I really appreciate you for taking this time to send me something. Seriously, I really appreciate it. That's so cool. All right, guys, and we're back. Thank you guys so much for watching and sending me amazing things in the mail. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Um, and yeah, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. Um, and turn on post notifications. I think that would be really fun and fresh because sometimes you don't get notified if we have a new video and I'd be truly sad if you weren't here next time because I I enjoy your company. You make me feel like I have friends. Um, I think the one thing you should guys should realize I didn't talk about is like starting a business can be very, very lonely. Like having a piece of paper, you know, making money will be so fun, but the most fulfilling part is the people and you guys are the people and if i didn't have you i would literally be so so depressed because it's a very lonely journey and you guys make it all worth it so i want to thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye